Hello crocheters, today I will share about slip knot, chain stitch, and single crochet with you. You might miss this hook and this yarn, but basically you are free to use any. Now, let's begin! First, slip knot. Place the yarn on your left hand and make the knot just like usual, like this. After you have a knot with a loop, insert your hook in it. Then tighten the yarn. Ta-da! For extra tips, use your pinky and index finger to hold the yarn. It will give you enough tension. Second, chain stitch. Do yarn over like this and pull the yarn through the loop using your hook. Do this continuously until you form the chain with the number you need. To make a neat foundation, I usually use the chain bumps to make single crochet insert the hook to the bum of the chain and then yarn over pull the yarn through the loop and then now you have two loops yarn over again and pull through the two loops repeat the same order to form a single row of single crochet make sure you have a loose chain stitch before you make a single crochet because it will help you with the bumps so it will be easier for you to insert your hook through it ta-da you make a row of single crochet and then to continue your work you need to chain one and turn your work and repeat the steps to make your second row of single crochet. Single crochet is one of the most important stitch you have to learn because several projects like Amigurumi uses single crochet on its entire steps and projects to form a cute doll, a cute keychain, a cute airport case, or else. If you are a beginner in these crochet things, you have to watch the video until the end because you will have to take note about how I insert the hook and which yarn I inserted it through. And now you have finished your second row of single crochet. Subscribe to see another crochet tutorial and thank you for watching. Bye!